Let's talk about the new Mark 8.5 Golf R, the facelift that's basically been seen sort of testing on and around the Nürburgring. Also the facelifted, the, the version of the Mark 8 Golf. Now, straight away onto the Golf R, what is this car? What is it doing? Why are they testing it? And all these kind of things. So as you can see, the main sort of changes from all the images that I'm gonna go through, aesthetically seem to be these front canards. So the three at the front. Now that's basically all you can see on the outside. There is a little bit of section sort of like on the rear wing and I'm not too sure if that's slightly different in terms of it being open, but it looks pretty similar to me. Yeah, and as you can see on the side on view as well, it's fairly similar. There's there's no different other than those that in terms of an aesthetic change. And this could either be as part of a performance pack or as part of a facelift. Now for me, this is definitely more of likely a facelift. I can't see them introducing this sort of like little package for no reason without doing a big update on the Mark 8 Golf, which brings me on to that. If you take a look at some recent sort of spy images of the Mark 8 Golf, it looks exactly the same on the outside, but it's on the inside where things have changed. So obviously they need to do something about the infotainment and they need to change sort of like the hardware aspect of it. And obviously people are going to big screens. You look at Tesla, you look at like all of sort of like the manufacturers are going for this big central screen because obviously bigger is better. And yeah, they not messing around there. I mean, that is a huge screen. You can see all the wires and the kill switch and everything that they've got going on there to try and obviously to show this new car. And this will definitely be introduced into the facelift. So that's the normal Golf. And that's what you can expect to see in the future Golf AR as well, I suppose, or Mark 8.5 Golf R. What else will likely be changed? So they have to do these little aesthetic changes and this is what they're sort of testing on the Nürburgring. I mean, I don't believe that's gonna make any sort of real difference other than for looks. Very similar to say like an Aero Pack or an A35, Mercedes-Benz A35 AMG, which I have driven on the channel. I mentioned about the Ford Focus ST Track Pack, all these kind of things that they just have to keep raising the bar. I hope that they actually add something in terms of an actual performance aspect, whether it's like maybe different suspension, I don't know maybe bigger brakes who knows but then the, sus the brakes are huge on the standard mark 8 golf r and the suspension's really good so i don't really know what more they can do and they've already got sort of like the club sport style rear wing and on this car you can see it's basically got the akrapovich exhaust which is you know three and a half thousand pound option in the uk so for a few extra little canards at the front which yeah you can get from any sort of off from the market kind of place isn't exactly massive but then this is sort of like the first early images around the Nürburgring not a huge update just sort of like the spy images of the Mark 8 Golf there's no real sort of image you know the outside looks the same but the inside is where they're sort of obviously testing things and this is likely to sort of randomly appear in sort of like 2023 2024 I'd probably say around that time so probably orders 2023 you'll see your car in 2024 so that's what's going to happen obviously there's been chips delays and the Mark 8 Golf has not really exactly shone brightly let's just say that all vw's focus has been on electric on like the id3 id4 id5 and they were sort of let down by the infotainment as well even though it's the same infotainment that went into the um <laughs> into the electric products and yeah a last little hurrah for the mark 8 specifically around the golf r i would and you know potentially even the last golf i mean they're, they're, it's gonna be hard for them to keep up with the petrol sort of powered stuff it's hopefully going to improve things but the biggest problem for me particularly well for all regions and in the uk is the price point you know you look at the mark 8 golf r 20 years which has come out and that car basically in the uk is about forty-eight thousand pounds before you put the performance pack on it before you put dynamic chassis control on it before you put the aircraft which exhaust on it once you get all those in it's a fifty-five thousand pound car and that is just is extremely high in my opinion and that's the danger of this one you know already a base mark 8 golf r is around 43 44 thousand so once you start adding a few little canards and then charging people another few thousand pounds you know it's going to get a bit tiresome eventually and yeah it, they're going to have to do something bigger in my opinion to really kind of raise the game um something a little bit more exciting but then it's got the wing which looks great these are all sort of early sort of testing kind of phases you can't really be 100% sure what they're going to kind of turn out into. But they're certainly looking to do a little bit of a redesign on the Mark 8 Golf R, for sure. Maybe this is also potentially for the club sport. You just don't know. Tested quite clearly on, a, on an R. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this? What do you think about the price point? What do you think about the changes? What would you like to see from VW going forward? Because this is the last hurrah for me for like hot hatches and where things are going. So really interested to know your thoughts in the comments.